A lot of people are speculating that Dogecoin and cryptos are in a winter, crypto winter, and that we are in a bear market. In this video, I'm going to be proving to you with on-chain data that they are wrong, that we are still in a bull run. What's up, Miles? Everyone here. And I make videos every day about Dogecoin and I cover cryptocurrency news. I have many years of investment and trading experience, so make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell because you cannot miss out on these time sensitive videos. If you want to get access to when I'm buying and selling cryptocurrencies, join my Patreon, which is in my top pinned comment or in my video's description, where you can talk to me on the phone. We can build you a portfolio. I also offer classes that teach you technical analysis, and we have a 4,000 member Discord, which you should definitely join. I'm giving away 200 Doge to one lucky winner tonight. All you have to do in order to enter and to win is follow my Instagram and Twitter like this video, subscribe to the channel, and put Dogecoin giveaway in the comments. Now we're gonna get started right now, but before we do so, go ahead and smash up the like button. It really helps to support Dogecoin, my channel, and make sure you all let me know in the comments below whether you think we're in a bear market or in a bull market. Let's talk about it. So there is a lot of talk with experts, YouTubers, people in the crypto space. Some are saying we're in a bear market, some are saying we're in a bull market. And the majority of experts actually uh, are saying that we are still in a bull market. And there's a lot of reasons why this is the case, which further in the video, we will be discussing and proving this point even further. So we had an article come out today on Cointelegraph.com and it says on the fence, if this is a crypto bear market, how long can it last? Is a bullish reversal incoming or is crypto starting a bear market? It's not clear where the markets will go. So let's weigh the facts. So the article goes on to say it's been three months since Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies were at their peak, right? And it also goes on to point out a bunch of facts. You know, there's a lot of analysts predicting that around this time, cryptos were supposed to be so much higher and Bitcoin was supposed to be this and Dogecoin was supposed to do that, Ethereum this and that and this. But understanding what had happened is there was more manipulation. It was man-made FUD to bring the price down of cryptocurrencies. It was man who caused it to happen. It wasn't a natural occurrence in the flow of transactions and trading and investing. It wasn't a natural occurrence in the money flow and the money exchanges for cryptocurrencies to bring the price down. Now, if that was the case, then we could potentially be in a bear market. But because the price of cryptocurrencies were manipulated, brought down and crashed because of news articles, because of China pushing their own digital cryptocurrency to crash other cryptocurrencies to make theirs more supreme. Tweets on Twitter, politics, regulation fears, fear, all of this caused fear and the retail investor. And most of the retail investors that help to bring the price up to where the prices end up getting have no knowledge and experience when it comes to investing. They have no knowledge and understanding of even the things that they invest in, where they're headed, the fundamentals. So when they see things start to go down, they sell and it causes a chain reaction and time of more people sell and sell and sell and sell and sell and sell. And, sell. and especially you started reaching the people with paper hands, eventually the people with crystal hands and then you started getting to some of the people with the diamond hands and some of those people were even selling it. So we are pretty much at the bottom of the market. All of the paper hands, all of the weak hands that have been shaken loose through fear and FUD and news articles, they're out of the market. And those same people are on the sidelines. A lot of those people made out with a lot of profits, but they're on the sidelines waiting. Not only are they on the sidelines, but we have big institutions waiting to put trillions and billions of dollars into cryptocurrencies. What are they waiting for? Well, a lot of people are waiting for confirmation of a bullish reversal. They're waiting for things to start picking up again to see, okay, things are starting to pick up again. Let me go ahead and buy this dip because people are wary to buy a dip that keeps dipping and dipping and dipping. And they see things continually go down and down and down. So these, a lot of these people, are investing not purely in the fundamentals, but mostly on emotion and fear, greed. That's what drives these markets. So there's a lot of indicators, even on this article, they go to point out 
that a lot of the indicators are still very bullish. A lot of the on-chain metrics that I've been showing you in my previous videos are still bullish. But despite all the whales buying, as we can see in this chart, the exchange outflows and inflows, we're seeing a lot of people pull their crypto from the exchanges in the cold wallets right now. A lot of whales are buying. A lot of retail is even buying right now. They're buying the dip, but the price is not going up because all of the people are on the sidelines. The volume is very, very low. That's why the price is slowly drizzling down. But the volume will be picking back up here very soon, in my opinion. I'm thinking things indefinitely in the next 30 days will start to take off. But I'm also expecting next week to be a green week. This is just my opinion. Don't hold me to it. But I'm thinking that because of the GBTC, the Grayscale Bitcoin Trust share lockup, which will be unlocking tomorrow, most of the fear is centered around that. They're waiting for this to be over with. And then we have a lot of very good catalysts coming out next week that could potentially help to bring the price and the volume back to cryptocurrencies. Now we're going to get into this on-chain data to prove that the bull run is still here. And I'm going to be showing you previous bull cycles, how they looked, what it looked like when they were at the top and much more. So here's a guy named Willy Woo. He has a lot of very awesome on-chain data. And 11 hours ago, he posted this. And this is the weekly net flows to small holders of less than one Bitcoin. It's retail that drive Bitcoin bull markets. When they stop buying, that's a bear market warning. They haven't stopped buying, according to him. And this is very true. Last 30 days, whales sold 4,000 Bitcoins, but the plebs bought 31,000 Bitcoins. And the data provider was Glassnode. So this is the Bitcoin price we're seeing on the left-hand side. And we're also seeing the entity flows. So on the bottom here, on the bottom, if you take a very close look, it shows the accumulation of these people buying cryptocurrencies but specifically in this instance they are buying the heck out of bitcoin right now retail investors even the whales they are accumulating right now at a very rapid pace the retail investors is buying the dip so what he's basically saying is when retail stops buying the bull market stop but this chart is showing the retail investors buying bitcoin at a very very rapid pace and if we take a look Look at these green circles. They correlate to when the retail investors started buying. And look at this. They started buying at a massive spike here. And that's when Bitcoin last year was around 3,000, went all the way to 65,000. That was the start of the second bull run with the rapid, the rapid amount of growth. But look at the area. Look at the area where it's at the same exact level when the second bull, when the bull run last year started, started spiking up is the same exact data that's happening with the retail right now. And check a look at this. So getting back to further analysis of what's going on. If we take a look at the crypto fear and greed index, this is letting us know that we are at extreme fear. We haven't been this level of fear in a very long time. Today is the day of fear because the Grayscale Bitcoin Trust Unlock is tomorrow. And how is this relevant to Dogecoin? Because Dogecoin is moved by Bitcoin. Dogecoin is controlled by Bitcoin. If Bitcoin continues to go lower and lower and lower, so will Dogecoin. I assure you 100%. 100%. But... If Bitcoin starts to bounce up and starts moving again very strongly, Dogecoin will be rocketing, I assure you. And look at this. This shows us the levels of fear and greed index based on certain dates. And every time we come to this level, we get a massive bounce in the price of that cryptocurrency. The last time we were at this level was June 22nd. This was when the fear and greed was 10. Now we are at a 15. We haven't been this slow in a long time, which is really high for the fear. So when there's a lot of fear, people are not buying. They're very scared. So when this grayscale Bitcoin unlock comes out and a couple of things are going to be happening this week, we have the big B word event. Elon Musk is going to be talking with Jack Dorsey and Kathy Wood about Bitcoin. Maybe he's going to come out at that event and say, OK, bring me the data to prove that Tesla can accept Bitcoin, that Bitcoin is more energy efficient through Bitcoin mining. And if you guys can do that, maybe I'll announce it here today. Who knows? That's certainly a possibility. I'm not going to hold anyone to that or expect that to happen on that date. But this is potentially a bottom indicator, letting us know that we are at the bottom, potentially about to bounce up. Because when this fear bounces up into greed, which is the opposite of fear, then the sentiment of retail, the volume starts picking up strongly. 
Now, here's the most important piece of data I'm going to be showing you. This is the Bitcoin long-term power law. And as we can see, when Bitcoin first started, it starts off at 2011, but it shows us the middle, that yellow price is the price of Bitcoin. Look at it flow. Every time it touches this purple line it is the top of Bitcoin. And look at this, the, the red line is showing the bottoms, showing the bottoms It's showing the bear markets. The red line is the bear markets, ladies and gentlemen, this does exactly it flows with this 100% of the time It's always done. This It's always flowed according to this. But look at this. The last time we before touching the purple, there was a rejection. We ended up coming down closer to the green line and getting a strong bounce. That's exactly what is potentially most likely about to happen right here. Look at this 2013, a massive run up came all the way down to consolidation for a long period of time. And then like almost as we were about to touch the green, we started going up and up and up and then boom, came up all the way to the purple line topped out, which was the top of the bull cycle, the, the, the bull market. And then we ended up coming all the way down, passing that support line, indicating the win crypto winter and the bear market for a long period of time. And then look, we came up all the way again to the exact same line as the top indicator, came all the way down to the red, bounced off the red, and then it started kind of just being this winter, this bearish market. But now we broke outside of it. Every time we break outside of this green line, it indicates the bull market, a bull cycle, but it's not over with because we did not top out like the previous cycles. Now this cycle could be different. Yes, that's certainly possible. But the last time this happened before we reached the purple line, we got a rejection, a sharp rejection, and then basically bounced off that level of support and came up eventually into the price. So basically this would indicate to us that around Christmas, Bitcoin could top out at $134,000. That seems very, very reasonable. And if Bitcoin were to top out at that, Dogecoin would potentially be around $1.50, $1.30, somewhere in that ballpark. So this is showing to us 100% of the time, the bull markets, the bear cycles, crypto winters, and it's showing us that we have not reached the top. We're still in the bull cycle. There's millions of other indicators that prove this looking at the historical data of Bitcoin. Now, most importantly, let's take a look at the Dogecoin chart because last night we made a video. I was like, look, we can definitely head down further. We ended up breaking down, continuing to head down further, just like I said, was a possibility. And we ended up, like I said, I did not change this buy zone at all. This is a strong level of support. And I said, look, most likely we will bounce off of this. It's appearing, this is the four hour chart, that we are getting a strong bounce here because if we take a look at these candles, they're actually bullish because what actually these candles are indicating, these wicks right here, shows that there's a strong price rejection in this area that pushes these candles up, the bodies of the candles up. So we're getting many rejections off of this level of support. In other words, we're getting a bunch of bounces. So we're not breaking past it, at least for the meanwhile. We can certainly go below it. We can go through it and so forth, but it's holding up right now as a very strong level of support. And if we zoom in with the 30 minute time frame, like I like to do in the smaller time frames, we actually got a strong bounce and it looks like we're slowly heading up. Not only for that, but for Bitcoin is doing the same thing as well. Looks like we're starting to head up. We got a strong bounce, same thing. Um, let's take a look at Ethereum. Same thing with Ethereum, kind of just that strong little bounce there, maybe a slow ascending movement towards the upside. If you want a good platform to buy and sell cryptocurrencies, use my Webull link. If you deposit $100, they will give you two free stocks worth up to $4,000. If you got anything out of this video, please like this video, share it with some of your friends and family, put it on Twitter, Facebook, and stay tuned for the giveaway tonight on my Instagram story. I will be announcing the winner. Thank you guys all, and I will see you tomorrow.